ITV4. More local news at 6 continues. Springing a leak on Red Hill, a problem with a massive underground fuel tank. And tonight, the Navy has some explaining to do. Tonight, KITV is getting answers. KITV Force Catherine Cruz joining us now with more on our top story at 630. Well, officials are reassuring the public that, it, that this leak has not contaminated our drinking water. Four wells in the vicinity of Red Hill have been shut down as a precaution. But at this point, there should not be any cause for alarm. I want to stress that the water we provide our community is safe to drink and is uh, tested many times each year. A joint effort is underway between the Navy, the Board of Water Supply, and State Health Department to get a handle on the leak and any impact it may have on the nearby wells and a main Oahu aquifer. The military said it discovered the leak in one of its underground storage tanks on Monday while it was in the process of refilling a tank that had been offline for repairs. A thorough investigation has been launched into how, where, and why. Uh, the tank developed a leak. Tank number five had been offline for four years and was recently brought back into service last month after routine maintenance. There are a total of 20 tanks located deep down from where I'm standing here at Red Hill. It's an enormous underground facility built decades ago. The tank holds 12 million gallons of fuel. The Navy believes about 20,000 gallons or less may have leaked out. But it believes at this point, drinking water for civilians and its military personnel has not been affected. I have a high degree of confidence that petroleum products from this incident have not migrated from the Red Hill tank facility <coughs> towards the Red Hill well aquifer. Results from tested conducted by the military and state and city officials will not be available until Monday since they've been sent to a West Coast laboratory. If a problem is detected, there will likely be more extensive testing and monitoring to follow. If we find concentrations in, in the water, uh, we would have to probably do a toxicological and risk assessment on that, that concentration and see what the potential impact it is. The tanks are said to be 19 stories high, and when they were built, were designated as an engineering marvel, like the Hoover Dam and the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, the military says the tank is in the process of being emptied, but because that tank is about as high as the Ala Moana building, it will likely take until Saturday to complete the process. Back to you.